Hello, everyone. Thank you for tuning in. I am Jay Lee. Should I stop saying that? I feel like people know that I'm Jay Lee and this is Jenny's Corner. I mean, I'll still say hello, hello, hello. I'm like, should I just stop saying that? Anyway, hello, 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 everyone. Thanks for tuning in. I hope y'all just do that, okay? This is my review for Black and Crew. You know what I'm Because I keep into Why do I introduce myself on every video? I don't understand that. I'm, I'm, I think I'm going to try to stop doing that, okay? Girl, it, it just popped in my head. I don't know. Anyway, this is my review for Black King Crew Chicago, uh, Season 5, Episode 19. I do believe next week is the season finale. This episode wasn't much. It honestly, honestly wasn't, but let's get to it. If you have not done so already, please make sure to like, 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 like this video. Boop, like it. Also, be sure to subscribe to my channel to become a whole J-Bird. Not going to sing too loud because it is um, almost 4 a.m. I hope y'all can hear me because my sweater was over my microphone. Um, but also, yeah, like, comment, subscribe. I'm not going to introduce myself too much no more because y'all know who I am. Um, not to be... Truth. Uh, anyway, but let's get started. Again, y'all also know that if you are watching the video and if it disappears, y'all know. YouTube been flagging people, so we take the video down to get them time to approve it. And then once it's approved within, within like 24 hours, we put it back up. So even if the video goes down, please come back the following day to look to see if it's back up and watch it, okay? Please and thank you. So, we see Charmaine and Neek walking through the park, walking their dog, okay? And I'm like, we gonna really see them walking their dog? Okay. So, they could talk him because she don't pick up dog poop. Oh, because we have kids. Charmaine, is you not gonna change no diapers? Am I gonna be the one? Do I'm like, really? Is this what we doing? Anyway, so walk through the park. He is like joking like, okay, I'm going, we've been together all these years, you know what I'm saying? And I think we should go to the next level. He then get down on one knee. She all excited. Will you pick up the dog poop? I'm like, first of all, a poop joke? A proposal poop joke? Neek, get your thunderbolt lightning ass earring up off that ground, okay? Anyway, you know, he like, look, I know we were supposed to go to um, Africa, we're going to go, not right now, so I want to show you that I appreciate you. So, we're going to take a trip down to South Carolina. We're going to go to Myrtle Beach or whatever and have a good time, have a good time, okay? We both like animals a whole bunch. It is a whole, you know, safari trip, safari thing there. We can see all these animals, you know what I'm saying? And it's wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. He said how they both love animals or whatever. And this is one of, like, of the only safari things thing that you can go to I guess in America where you can like go and like be with the animals I don't want I don't want that mm -mm. I need my animals away so they want to attack me they can't get to me that's how I prefer it. I don't want them in, in cages and I don't want them being held captive but I mean if I can go visit them somewhere and they okay in a cage somewhere I, as long as they're happy I'm happy but I don't want to be out there free, free falling with the animals. I don't want that. You know what I'm saying? But again, he like, what she don't know is I'm going to propose, okay? I'm going to propose her, and she's going to love it. And she like, you know what I'm saying? We were supposed to go to Africa. I don't know why we ain't going, but I know he's not going to propose in South Carolina. I mean, girl, yes, he is. Anyway, we see you back at the shop. Um, Van is there. It was Van, Don, Bella. I think it was four. I mean, maybe four was there too. I don't know. It was all up, up in there, whatever. And then, like, I'm just wondering how in the world did we don't need her come up in this thing on shop to a party? I don't get how we don't need her, ever need her. You know what I'm saying? Came up in here or whatever. And who who invited her? Who invited her? And the whole time he looking at Bella. Like, who invited her? I wonder how she got here. Bella say, I don't know. I want to tell them that it was uh, Lily who... You know, if I heard Lily, no, you, no, 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 no. I don't think it was Lily. I can't remember correctly, but I might, either way, you didn't tell anybody that she might pop up and show up or whatever. You just waited for it to happen, okay? But she didn't say, well, what happened was, you know, she reached out, so she told them what happened or whatever. They're like, whatever, you know what I'm saying? That's why we on, you know what I'm saying? You be on, send BS or whatever, uh, Bella, we're going to leave you be. 
So Van is in the in the in the confess like you know what I don't want nobody asking no questions about Charmaine. Me and Charmaine did not sleep together because earlier Charmaine also said like me and Van did not have sex. Like that's even dumb to think like that's who would believe that you know if you're gonna come to a NAMAC party and tell a lie at least someone that's not gonna believe. I don't believe it either. I really, 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 I told y'all, if they wanted a lie that was believable, say that Lily and Van messed around. Because Lily already said before that Van tried to get with her. I don't believe Van and Charmaine. They just don't, no. I did, no. Anyway, Van again is like, we didn't do it or whatever because Charmaine was on her period in Vegas. They're like, well, how did you know that? He's like, because Charmaine announced everything to everybody. And they showed footage of Charmaine announcing to everybody that she was on her period in Vegas. So it wasn't like he knew because he saw it. It's because she was walking around the house talking about it. So how can we have sex if, if she was on her Anyway, they had that conversation. So we then see Danielle pop up. Y'all know Danielle is Charmaine's cousin. And she pop up. And I'm like, why her eyes always look stuck together? I think of them lashes. I think whoever Danielle's lashes do too much glue. And when she blink, her eyes get stuck a little bit. Anyway, so she pop up like, look, Neek is taking Charmaine on a trip to, to North Carolina to, you know, Myrtle Beach or whatever, you know, a little, a little safari or whatever. And he wants all y'all to come because, dun, 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 he is planning to propose to her. Like, so he's inviting everybody, like Ryan going or whatever. And he wants y'all there because y'all are her people or whatever. And, you know, she will want y'all there too. I'm like, no, it's a, it's, it's the, the, the cash trip. They forever taking trips or whatever. And, you know, they all have to go. So, I'm like, it is what it is. So, then, <laughs> Bill like, am, am I invited? <laughs> Danielle said, well, he didn't like, he didn't like not invite you but he also didn't invite so he did not not invite so but it, it was weird i would have just not went to be told but i'm like but she a part of the show so i get girl i no. but again they kept saying like he didn't know he did not invite you but he also did not not invite you so you know to me that means maybe i shouldn't go because he didn't mention my name to come so i don't think he would think about me being there but you know what i'm saying they always treat me like an outsider and i'm like well i mean you do dumb stuff bella you do dumb stuff. You usually get drunk. You you might fight. The air. Who knows? I don't know. Anyway, but I don't think they treat her like an outsider. I think she still knew, found her way, and because she's still cool with, you know what I'm saying, the, her who should not be named, okay, who is gone now, I think they like, we don't really know if we can trust you yet because you may still be working for the enemy. So we then see everyone flies to South Carolina. And for some reason, it's cold. Now, I don't know when they went, but they always in, like, winter coats. And it's cold. And now, I have been to Myrtle Beach. Uh, we went there for a family vacation in 2014. Um, and it's 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 nice. However, you you know, it's it's a lot <laughs> with, with certain stuff or whatnot. Um, but it wasn't, we went in the summer, so it was not cold at all. It was very, very warm. But they're cold right now, and they look coats or whatnot. So, Charmaine don't know they there, okay? And production asked me, like, how are you going to explain to Charmaine why they there so that she won't, sus 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 ugh, she won't suspect that you're going to propose? He was like, oh, I didn't, I didn't think about that. I'm like, I don't know why he didn't get them a whole separate house. Because they all going to supposedly stay in the same house together. But Ryan and all of them got their first, so it was Ryan, Ford, Don, Ashley, um, Danielle, who all came down. I'm my girl for the fact that Ashley coming down, considering in season one, uh, Sh Charmaine and Don was, Don was cheating on Ashley with Charmaine, and Charmaine did not know that him or her was a girl. It was a mess. I'm looking like the fact that Ashley is on this trip, you know, with Charmaine getting engaged, girl, I guess so. So we see them stop at a convenience store because someone needed some, needed some beach stuff. I don't know who goes on a beach trip and don't bring no beach stuff and they didn't want to stop at a convenience store and get some beach stuff. I was confused, but like it was what it was. And they stopped and there was like a Confederate flag type store with all kind of Confederate stuff, Trump stuff, just, just racist stuff. Racist stuff. I no, no other way to say it. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, so they walk like this. This is crazy. Like this, they really. It's a whole store. Like we thought that you would have to be like online somewhere, ordering from somewhere secretly. But it's a whole Confederate store. And as they walking out, they see the person who worked there behind the counter is a black woman. They like you work here, and she was like, yeah. They was like, wow. 
she's like, yeah. And you can tell she like, I need a job. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, she had on one of their shirts. And Van was like, you know what? Nah. You know what I'm saying? Forget that. He takes off his gorilla, uh, Chicago gorilla hoodie. And said, give me your shirt. Like, I'm no, I'm going to give you, the, I'm going to get the, the hoodie off my back. So he unzips it. You know, takes it off. Gives, she's like, well, I'm going to give you my shirt. He said, well, give it to me. I'm going to throw it away. Okay. And he gives her, he literally gives her the jacket off his back to put on. Because she's a black woman working in this Confederate flag store. And, you know, that's just a whole bunch of nonsense within itself. Um, and, you know, she's like, thank you. And he threw her shirt away. I was like, girl. But it was dope. It was a dope thing to see him do that. Like, to feel like I, you know, she has to work there because she needs a job. And what she probably has to endure or whatever, you know, it's crazy. Let me at least give her something to wear, you know what I'm saying, she can feel good. I'm like, well, hopefully she don't get fired for taking her shirt off at work. And because I'm like, babe, how do we not know if that was a, a work uniform? But I'm like, I get that because she took it off herself. Anyway, we do see the house. They pick rooms. Um... That was cute running around and whatnot. It's cute to see them all, like, getting along. Like, getting back to the original and the high was. They just all got along and had fun or whatever. So, we see four on the phone caking with somebody. Like, hey, baby, you, you know. <laughs> I'm like, who are you talking to? Four? Who are you talking to? What's going on? Whatever. And, like, yeah, four over there caking. Like, yeah, I, I met somebody new. Whatever. It's a new lady in my life. And I hope she can, you know, make it down here to see me or whatever. And I'm looking like, who? Who is it? Who is it? Okay. So we then see at the house, Neek um, and Charmaine get there. So they pull up and, you know, they all in the house in the back. And she's like, the neighbors is loud. Mm -mm. Them your friends. Them your friends. So she walks in. She first, she then yell, surprise. Oh, my God. Thank you. Oh, my God. Hey. Happy, happy, happy. Well, come here. Let's see this. She's like, what? What's up? Oh, my God. Y'all are here. Oh, my God. Because she's very, very, very happy. Now, Ryan was out there with a sparkler hump in the air. I'm looking like, I'm, Ryan, stop humping the air, bro. I get it. But I'm like, Ryan, first of all, you too sexy to do that. Stop being nasty. Stop being nasty. Anyway, so they they happy for her. She's happy to see them, whatever. Um, she was very, very happy to see that they came back to support her. And she's like, you know what? This mean he finna propose. He would not have he would not have brought them here if he wasn't proposing. So she's like, I figured it out. I knew I would figure out the reason for this trip. And I figured it out. But I'm not gonna say nothing, okay? I just wonder when he gonna do it. And I was like, mm, so it's, it's ruined now. But at least she's not gonna tell him that she knows. She's gonna just play along and wait to see whatever happens. So, neat, like, you know, I just brought you here because I wanted to show you how much I appreciate you and how I want your friends to also be here to also know how much I appreciate you. We could all have a good time. Cool, cool, cool. You know what I'm saying? And then, for no reason, no reason, like, nobody asked no question. No, it was like nobody. No, absolutely nobody. And all of a sudden, knock, 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 Bella. Bella then got herself there. She was the last one to arrive, which means she probably flew last class. And I'm like, girl, and Nick like, um, so why are you here? So because it was Bella who said what Nosperita said, you know what I'm saying? Um, who all blocked her? Um, damn, who, oh, Van blocked Bella. Nick blocked Bella. Bella. Nick blocked Bella, and so did Charmaine. They all blocked her on social media because they didn't want to deal with her or whatever. So, Neek, like, again, while you here, you was you, you tried to make a whole situation. You, you was repeating so that you knew wasn't true. So, like, we, what you here for? I, you know, because I wasn't, like, not invited or whatever, so I just thought to come. I'm like, girl, that's why you a little bit special and you should not think sometimes. Just do whatever. So, Charmaine, like, look, I don't have an issue with Bella or whatever. Like, I don't, I don't dislike you, but, you know what I'm saying, I don't play would have come to my man or whatever, and what you said was some bull crap or whatnot. So, you know what I'm saying? I just blocked you, but you know what I'm saying? You here now, whatever. So, I'm not going to put you out, but whatever. A girl, look, I would have kept her blocked and kept her. You can leave now. Go that way. Which way? That way right there. That door right there. Go there. Like, that way. She would, oh, she would have had to leave me. And I don't want you around, girl. You try to create a whole situation. Bye. Get you a hotel. Stay in a car. Don't care. You can't stay here. Anyway, I'm like, mm, mm, mm. So, we see them go on a plantation tour. Now, when I was in, uh, down there from Emmerdale Beach, Emmerdale Beach, when you were driving to, we were driving to the resort, like, you passed a lot of plantations, like, you passed wholehearted plantations. The, 
the resort that we went to was called plant it was some 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 plantation but it was a whole huge ground with a whole bunch of hotel rooms and i'm like <laughs> but it said plant, but you pass plantations here and there or whatever so it you know it's kind of crazy so they go see like the big house they see the slave quarters or whatever you know and all of that stuff and they were like it's kind of in awe just because we all know what slavery was we all know how, know how hard it was but you know being on grounds where actual slaves work where actual slaves die it's a whole different thing and you know what I'm saying they get the story of how you know how back then um, work was so hard that you know some slaves or most slaves you know would die at would die within three to five years in slavery because it was back break was hard work and they didn't get the kind of care they needed so there they were sent high because they was there like manually physically you know digging a river or digging you know a, a, a space to get with your mouth what was it making a moat something i can't remember but because they was in water all day they were sick would get all the all the diseases and so again a lot of them would not live past three to five years because they were so sick <clears throat> they go see the slave quarters where they like you know they would have about between 14 to 20 people in this one room and you walk in and you like 14 to 20 people like it's not even in their room for anyone to be in there comfortable like you had this like kind of find a quarter a corner and just be you know what i'm saying and it was like you know it was very emotional i would say just to see that or whatnot you know they bring up how you know there back then of course as we know everything is slave owned the master owned and you know what i'm saying all your property was the master's property even your children you know what I'm saying? So, again, it was just a reiteration of the things that we know of slavery. You know what I'm saying? They, they bring up how hard it was to think about what they had to go through. And it's true. Like, like I was complaining at work yesterday. Not complaining, but I was aggravated at work yesterday because too many people was in my office having a conversation. And I'm looking like, what the fuck could y'all, like, get out. <laughs> like, this is not the, don't come in here and meet up, whatever. And I snapped. And I was very aggravated. I'm looking like, you know, my ancestors had to, they couldn't even get upset. You know what I'm saying? Like, you could, you, so it's like, you can't, it's, it just makes you think about the things that we complain about is nothing compared to what they had to live through back then. And Van said, like, I don't think I would have been strong enough. It was, a, it was either Van or, Van or Ford. So how they don't think they would have been strong enough to even do what had to be done back there. Like, just the work that you had to do in order to survive. You know, I don't think I would have been able to do it. You know what I'm saying? So it was. It is. It, it makes you thankful, and for your ancestors and what they went through to where now we can. We don't have to go through that, and we know things ain't all the way good right now. But it's not what it used to be back then. So we have to be very thankful to them or whatever. And we can discuss not complain as much. Okay, I would try that too. Anyway, so back at the house, um, we see four new boo show up. Four new boo. To me, ain't no new boo. And I'm going to say that because we've seen her many, many times before. If you if you watch different shows or whatever, um, his boo, is this her? Is Sophie the Body. Okay? Now, Sophie the Body has been on a couple of reality shows. Okay? And she's like a, a, um, a video model chick, a video girl, or whatever. So, they like, oh, hey. So, she walk in, kind of jump on. They were kind of hugging a little bit. I'm like, you really, like, really her? You went from Nikki to her? Okay. All right. Anyway, so, Bella like, so, are y'all just fucking or is this a thing? They're like, Bella. It's like, I'm, I'm just wondering or whatever. Sophie say, my, I haven't had sex in two years. Bella say, what's wrong with your coochie? I say, Bella, it's just not a free-for-all. You know, not all coochie is free-for-all. Like, it's, it's, it, it just isn't, okay? Some are on lock, okay? It's just not who wants it. Here you go. Anyway, so, <laughs> it's like, Lord Jesus. Um, but we then see, I think Van was like, you look familiar. Like, I'm, he like, Caesar. Caesar. He was like, she's like, what? 
You was with Caesar. So they show the old footage of back when Caesar used to be with Duchess and him and, and him and this girl was messing around or whatever so much to where um, Duchess was mad because they was like touchy feely or whatever. It was something little. I ain't gonna say she slept with him, but she was flirting with C's and it was something that made Duchess mad or whatever. Not only that, she was also on Love and Hip Hop Hollywood and was talking to a couple guys on there. I think she was dating the one dude who may have been a singer or something and then went to the other dude. Now, none of them, none of them was on the seasons now, but she was dealing with two different dudes on Love and Hip Hop. So, again, she making her rounds to the VH1 shows. Okay, you have been on three VH1 shows with at least four different guys. Okay. You was on this one, Black and Crew, and it was then two guys on Love and Hip Hop. She, girl, no. Just stop. This this whole already stop. And that's not true. Me and Van, I have known four, like, we were, it's been like seven years. Are you sure? Are you sure? Okay. If you say so. Anyway, we then see that Jen is on her way to the, to the place, because Van invited her or whatever. And um, she invited Nikki. Okay. Um, y'all know Nikki is, is for us ex. I don't understand why she invited Nikki. I'm like, of all the places Nikki can come, this what she come to. Um, I think it's weird. Y'all know Nikki is. That's Nikki. And, you know, so she's coming back around or whatever. She brings up how, because Jen said her and Nikki still good friends or whatever. And when she told her that she was going to be with all of them, Nikki said that she wanted to come around to clear the air between her and Ford. Because, again, she's like, I haven't talked to him or, or seen him since I moved away from Chicago. Because she now lives in Atlanta. So, I'm like, okay. She said, I reached out when he was going through depression or whatever, but he didn't respond or whatever, and I was mad because he cheated on me, you know what I'm saying, around my birthday or whatever, so how can you be ignoring me? I'm looking like, girl, it's just, it's just team too much. So, then we then see quickly, Jen and, and, and Nikki pop up at the house. I'm like, Lord Jesus. And for like, okay, it's a pop-up queen or whatever with the ex. I'm looking like, yes, it is. And at, four, at first, it was really, really weird. And Nick's like, hey, y'all. Hey, everybody. They're like, oh, yeah, you know what I'm saying? That's Sophie, whatever. Oh, so, Sophie, who are you? Who are you? And I'm like, oh, please don't fight. Oh, please don't fight. Just please don't fight. And Sophie knew. I think Sophie is, is, is aware that, you know, so Nikki ain't one. Nikki is, is a little uh, volatile, okay? And if you piss her off, she will swing. Now, we know that she swung on, on a few people, okay? She really swung on Kat uh, her first season on the show when she was messing with with um before. So, Sophie, the body quickly said, like, look, I don't want to get between y'all or whatever. I don't want to, like, ruffle on feathers. I don't want stuff on no toes. Like, I don't, you know what I'm saying? I know y'all had history. I just don't want. She tried to be like, I don't want no negativity, you know, coming out my body to y'all. Where I'm, I'm going to let y'all handle that or whatever. And I'm back away. And I'm back away. I'm like, girl, just stop. So, in the meantime of that, you know what I'm saying, we see Jen. Jen... <laughs> Van is in his room, and he's asleep, okay? Van is wholeheartedly in the bed, sleep, trying to rest, okay? Jen come in and wake him up. He's like, I just want to get some rest. I've been up for a long time. I want to get some rest. And she's like, I, Van, Van, Van. And look at Van's face. <laughs> Van was just, he was so over it. And Jen, like, you know what I'm saying? I love you, Van. I love you, you know. I love you, even when you don't love me enough. And then they showed us a collage of Jen just like the whole time Van sitting there. And he looked like he just want to go to sleep. He just want to get some rest. And it was hilarious because she would not stop talking. You don't love me, so what you doing? And like each scene was a different way of her bugging him and he like I just I just wanna go to sleep. I don't but I also don't wanna argue back with her because you know what I'm saying it'll just make her go for further and further. I'm gonna let her keep talking, talking, talking. And she it was she just kept going and going and going. And I don't know. You don't respect me enough. Don't you I don't you love me? I love you. I'm like girl, I don't know if she was drunk high or whatever, but it was hilariously funny. And they say they broke up again because they showed a picture of Van posted on social media Saying he was in the pool with two girls. I'm like, I know Jen don't like that. So we shall see. But girl, it, Jen, Bug, and Van was the funniest shit I've seen on, on TV tonight. It was really, really funny. And then we just see Nikki and Four go outside and talk. It was, 
I feel like they could have had this whole conversation anywhere. You know, it was him saying how, you know what I'm saying, he, when he lost her, he lost it all. You know, she was his backbone. They were best friends. You know what I'm saying, they was each other's confidants or whatever. And when she left, he lost so much and that kind of, Pushed him a little bit to spiral here and there, whatever, because she knew that he was already suffering from depression when they were together, whatever. And but I reached out to you or whatever, and you didn't respond. He said, "Cause I feel like you did it just so people would see that you did it." Like I don't think you. Yeah. Well, no, I, I no, I, I don't know. The, my thing was, you know what I'm saying. I also feel like you may still want me, and so I just be kind of, you know, I don't know about that. He said, "Look, I do still love you, but I don't still want you." You know what I'm saying we was great together we, he, said, we, he said we was together for you know, for a while or whatever and each other's life so i do so love you but i don't want to be with you and they it was that was it you know what i'm saying i was like oh, okay um and they both cleared the air and they went back in the house and that was it so again that was the episode uh next week looks to be the season finale it's confusing me because i feel like um, are they, is they in the Black Ink Crew Chicago? Are they starting up Black Ink Crew Compton? I don't know. Why is Ryan saying that they don't, they're going to close the old shop? I mean, they could. Because now, Lily gone. Um, we all know Van has his own shop. And, I mean, Don can come over to the new mag and, like, Pierce. Or something. Or help manage. I don't know. Um, but I do wonder if they close the, the old NADMAG, how would the show continue if, you know, Charmaine and Van and Don are not a part of the new, and then four, are not a part of the new NADMAG tattoo shop. I, so I'm confused on what's going on with the end. So maybe they're not getting renewed for a season six. I don't know. But we shall see next week. Anyway, I'm done, y'all. Peace.